Hey y'all, it's me back with another video. Okay, I'm trying to get all these videos out the way because I ain't going to be making none this weekend. Probably ain't going to make none for my, I don't know, I might make one for my birthday, but probably not the weekend though. Okay, so we're going to start the video off with one of my babies. I said, you know, it's probably going to be easier for me to showcase one of my babies in every video instead of trying to bring all of them at one time to show you and do like this plant haul thing i can't do that because i got too many plants i have at least um a hundred plants not counting the succulents and cactus i have outside and this is one of the outside plants but i wanted to show you guys this and this is I don't know if you can see the crown, the thorns, but this is called a crown of thorns. Let me see if I can get the, I think their names are Latin. It is called, oh, it's kind of wet too. It's called a cream supreme and it's a euphorbia milli. And it is called a crown of thorns because this plant, this this is the story if you Google it. This plant was used to make the crown of thorns that uh, Jesus had, that they put on Jesus' head when they were taking him to the cross of Calvary. The plant, when it grows um, tall, you can actually see the just long stalk of thorns you know the when the stalk uh grows out is is thorns everywhere and it blooms really pretty um flowers i guess when a plant matures this green is just going to be on the top and it's gonna bloom it looks like i had one little one that looked like it was trying to bloom i don't know if it if it was or not but it kind of looked like it to me and I'm not sure what color that's going to bloom because I heard they have uh, white and pink and off-white or something. But yeah, that's one of my new babies I got her this weekend. Okay, so what I want to talk about is exercising after 50. Um, as y'all know, I'm 50, I will be 54 years old Friday. So I am buying things because i'm not gonna do the gym at all i'm not going to the gym the gym has never um been my thing i do like to walk my exercise has to not be strenuous on my joints since i have joint issues i can't do anything that is going to put a lot of pressure on my joints because i have osteoarthritis not rheumatoid but osteo um not severe but enough to you know cause me pain so i have to do things around the house that are not going to um hurt my joints so i saw these which is the um stretch bands what says stretch band loops and you get three bands in here you get the light, medium, and maybe if I put my glasses on, I can see heavy. I think this was only like six dollars or something at Walmart. Eight dollars under ten. So you get and I have already used the light one. And it's extremely light, but I don't want to do too much. So, this is the light. This is the medium, and this is the heavy. And I'm going to take the light out so you can see it. Because they all look the same, but, you know, different um, stretchiness or strengths. So, this is what they look like. It's just, you know, a circle. 
and you can do whatever exercises I, I earlier today I was doing the um, legs and the arms so me and my husband are working out together because my husband as he's overweight also but my husband um, he doesn't have any joint issues and he's always worked out my husband is a veteran he was in the army and so he still has you know muscles and stuff he just then put on some bulk on top of that and he enjoys working out but he enjoys working out at home he has completed the p90x thing and the only reason why he didn't lose any weight is because he was still eating whatever he wanted to eat. But he likes to exercise. He used to run all the time. He's not really doing that now. But we are also doing the Tai Chi together. And I think the Tai Chi falls under the like the same programs as like the P90X. I think it's by like the same company or whatever. So we do that every day, and that is a 30-minute program. The first 15, 16 minutes is uh, kind of like uh, strength training, and then you actually go into the Tai Chi movements. Now, I have really been feeling better since I have been exercising. Like My doctor wanted me to exercise because I have been having uh, these problems with my tendons. And I think sometimes when people retire, because I'm retired, when you retire, you just be so happy to be retired that you just kick it around the house and be like, you know, you think your house work or what you're doing around the house is enough to keep you busy, but it's not. You, you're you going to have to be doing some type of stretching and flexing to to keep your muscles and um, tendons right. You know, because if you don't use your muscles, you will lose them. So the strength bands come with the exercises here. So I've done most of these today. I think I have to do this one and this one. But I've done most of them. I try to do my exercises in the morning. Um, usually when I get up, I'm starving. I will eat like um, some oatmeal. I have cut out sugar. There's no sugar in this house. We were trying stevia. Stevia has a strange um, taste to me that I, I don't really like. So we're going to try some other, um, we're going to go to like the food meal, which is a natural um, health store in my area and see, you know, what type of um, natural sweeteners that they have that, you know, don't have calories. Um, I stopped drinking coffee. The doctor had took me off my regular coffee and I could only have decaf and I don't really like decaf. So I just said, forget it. I'm not even going to drink coffee. So in the morning, if I don't make a smoothie, I have a bowl of oatmeal and then around 12 something, I'm hungry again and I might make a smoothie or a really big um, salad because I love salads. If you follow me on Instagram, I usually post my salads. I love raw um, vegetables. I eat a lot more raw stuff than I do cooked. I noticed that if I eat too much cooked food, I have um, acid reflux and you don't want to deal with that, John. And I bought me a new bottle so everywhere I go and this thing is not heavy. It looks kind of clunky, but it's not. So, because I'm addicted to ice. And they say most people that have um, that have issues with anemia um, love ice. I love ice. I don't chew it, but I just like to have it in my container. I like for my water to be like super cold. So that's it. If you're in your 50s, you got to be moving. You, If you, 
because you know 50 year old women we're going through menopause um i'm having a hot flash right now we're going through menopause that's just part of the circle of life that's that's just the way things happen and i know i'm going through that right now menopause and hypothyroidism they do not get along girl trust me but if you want to be healthy, you have to do things to stay healthy. And this is not just for women over 50. This is young, y'all young women, all that McDonald's and Burger King and In-N-Out and Taco Bell. Eventually, that stuff is going to catch up to you. Trust me, because when you get 30, that metabolism is going to start to slowly creep down. And then you're going to eat McDonald's, you're going to have that uh, Big Mac meal, and you're going to get on the scale, and you didn't gain three pounds. Well, you used to be able to eat Big Macs at one o'clock in the morning, and it didn't bother you. Trust me, I've been there. I, I done done all that. Left the club and go to Giant Burger and eat that burger and pop back up in the morning eating the burger at one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning and get up like nothing. Honey, if I eat a burger now at one o'clock in the morning, I'm going to have to stay up probably until six for that burger to digest. I ain't no way in the world I would eat a hamburger now at one o'clock in the morning because it would probably kill me. Because my stomach is not... It's 11 minutes. I just been talking. My stomach is not trying to be processing no burgers and all of that kind of stuff. Because right now I'm vegan. Um, well, plant-based. I don't want to say vegan. Because some of y'all vegans are so mean. Y'all be doing way too much. How she vegan? And she got a dog? You supposed to let your animals roam free? And I, You know what? Plant-based. Plant-based. The majority of what I eat... Um, Fruits and vegetables. Every now and then, I got to have my cornflakes, though. I love me some cornflakes. Um, so, I do eat a little bit of cereal in the morning. And I know they ain't vegan. Because, honey, them vegan cereal. Lord and mercy Jesus. That mess tastes like uh, cardboard. And I ain't about that life. I like things that I like. I love fruits and vegetables. And so, that's um, what I eat. Okay, so that's it. I talked about how I'm exercising and stuff. And ladies that's in your 40s and 50s, stay busy. Keep keep your joints lubricated and all that kind of stuff so that you won't, you know, you won't be stiff. And because once you, I swear to God, my it seemed like my entire body started to change when I turned 50. I didn't notice how stiff I could get until I turned 50. So. You got to be moving. If you ain't moving, them joints will lock up and get stiff and, you know, won't have all of the, what is that in our joints that keep the lubrication and all of that kind of stuff. If you're not moving, you're going to lose all that. And I'm not trying to be in no wheelchair. I'm trying to be out here chasing my grandkids because um, I got a whole bunch of granddaughters and I'm about, I'm going to be out here telling these boys, trust me, I'm about that life. Play with my granddaughters if you want to. You going to catch these hands. I don't care how old I am. So I got to stay in shape because I'm going to have to, I know I'm going to have to be out here fighting once they turn uh, teenagers. I'm going to be acting crazy. For real, for real. Okay, I'm going to go. Gizmo, you want to say hi to the people? No, he's not coming. He's sleeping. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye!